we're gonna end things with one last story to brighten your day, hopefully. This is what I'm liking. A Phoenix man is living proof of the ultimate love between mother and son. You're gonna love this story. And he certainly deserves the spotlight on this National Son's Day. His mom has been dealing with a benign brain tumor for years. She's okay, but with radiation, she's lost all her hair and doctors say it won't grow back. So he's incredible and he decided to grow out his own hair for two years and use it to make a wig for his mama. It's super sweet. Uh, we have Matt and Melanie on the line right now watching on CBS 5 and 3 TV. Hello. Hey, Kelly. Oh my gosh, Matt, I wish you were here. I wanna hug you so hard. And I mean, just well done, Melanie. What a great son you have raised. What a great young man. Matt, you say this kind of started as a joke though, right? It kind of did. Um, I was home between semesters from school. Um, and I go to a school with a, dr with a pretty strict dress code. Um, and then my parents jokingly said, hey, your hair's getting a little long. Maybe it's time for a haircut. Uh, to which I jokingly responded, maybe I'll just keep growing it and make a wig for you, mom. And then it just kind of clicked. <laughs> Um, and so, you know, a, a few months down the road, I'm, I'm using different products. My sisters took me to the store, taught me all this stuff about my hair. Uh, my mom would always compliment me on my hair and I would say something along the lines of, coming soon to a head near you. <laughs> um, so I've, I've learned a lot, but you know, it's, it's, it was such a small gift to give to a mother who's given mm. me everything. So uh, it was a no brainer. Melanie, that has to be the coolest thing, like, you know, to have to go through that in general, I've had friends that have had cancer and, and that can be a hard thing to go through. You know, the loss of hair, the loss of sometimes femininity, like that happens and that's a beautiful thing that not just you have that wig to use, but it, that where it came from, the roots of the whole thing is so incredible. That's gotta feel pretty special, right? Oh, it's absolutely amazing. Um, when we went to get his haircut, it was 12 inches long. And uh, as the last of it got snipped off, um, all of us in the room started crying that <laughs> uh, it was just such a momentous gift. We mailed the hair away to a company that uh, will uh, create a custom wig out of the hair that you've donated. Wow. Um, so it's so great that I have a wig that uh, fits right and the color's right because it's our my, you know my color my son's color uh and that it came out of compassion and sacrifice and love oh my gosh wait you need to write a a book on how to raise kids because matt you are outstanding that is a cool thing to do thank you all so much matt melanie for sharing this story i'm liking your post right now right And that's not all our season-long partner, Pilot Pin. Makers of Friction, the go-to erasable pin of The Kelly Clarkson Show, want to celebrate those creating fearlessly, just like y'all. So they're gonna give you $1,000. How's that sound? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Y'all have such a blessed evening. Thank you to all our guests today. Rosie O'Donnell, Tyler James Williams, Pearl, Karen, Keontae, and Kosi, and Raymond. And of course, a huge shout out to Leanne Trotter, Matthew Rodriguez, and all our friends at NBC Chicago and Chicago Today. Y'all have a great day, and if it's not, we'll try and change it.